First and foremost, as I've said before, when I first began this video making on YouTube, I had some things in mind as to why I was going to be doing it. To be a watchman, to be a truther, to help people to open your mind and help you understand what is going on, who is behind all these things, where this is taking us to, and what is your way out of it. I never did it to make any money, so that is why whenever you click my videos, as well anyone else who is not making money on YouTube from their videos, you will never get a commercial. So when you click and you watch, I ask for nothing. I don't want anything. Even if I needed money, I would not do that on YouTube because to me, my personal opinion is that you can always be questioned then about your true motivations of why you make your videos. So where we are at right now, as you can see, we are on Social Blade. And this is how, if you did not know, you can check any YouTuber who is monetized. And you will always see a commercial on their videos verifying that every click, every watch that someone does on their videos, they are making an income from being watched. So you can go to www.socialblade.com slash YouTube slash user slash put in the username of whatever the person is you're trying to see how much money they're making. There's a couple of relatively popular YouTubers I'm going to use as examples. And I'm not running them into the ground, but I am asking you to listen to what I'm saying with an open mind. This particular one would be BP Earthwatch. And what we see here is it is telling us Mr. BP Earthwatch is making anywhere in the neighborhood of $550 with the potential to make four, well, almost four and a half thousand, four point four thousand a month, which gives him, on the average, if things kept up percentage wise and watch wise the way they are. He could make, you know, 6.6 thousand per year, or up to 52 thousand and something per year. So he could make anywhere in between there. This is quite a quite a little bit of money, and it will bring you down to here, and you can see day by day of the month, percentage-wise, this is how much each video makes in this particular day, and then it will give you your daily average in your last 30 days. Now, speaking of this individual here, in case nobody knew, which I'm sure there has to be a lot of people that do know, this is the former Mr. Comet Watch. And I'm using him because I've caught him several times. Uh, well, I'll give one as a reference of giving information that never panned out to be correct and then never correcting the information that he gave out that was incorrect as Mr. Comet Watch. We were all looking, trying to understand and find a location for that Nibiru, Planet X, the destroyer, 
Nicolaus. And there was a video at a time that he made where he showed on one of the space cameras an object which he claimed to be the dwarf that we were looking for and that it was incoming. He gave his usual heads up. He was corrected with video proof by other YouTubers before I could even get a chance to make one and send it to him. But I did send him a notification that he was incorrect. And what he was actually showing people was, I believe at that time, it was the um, Pleiades system. And this could be verified by going back on the same uh, viewer one year to the prior time in that frame of time and just keep doing that and you could see year to year to year to year that same time that same object but there was no corrective video made there was not as far as i my message to him there was no reply or response so when you are a watchman when you are a truther and when you are trying to give alerts and show truths and gain understanding for the watchers, your, your people watching you, you cannot do things like that. And as you are monetized, you are still getting paid. Money can corrupt. When you make, now I'm not talking about somebody that makes the um, videos showing uh, new games or anything or showing tips how to do well on them. That is a totally different field. We're talking about real life showing events, things that can actually help people. So these gentlemen that I'm going to show, um, when you make what they make, or there are probably others that make more than what they are making, you have to ask yourself, are these people actually being truthful to you, the viewer? When they are in the lure of making this kind of money, what would they potentially do or say that could be stretched, twisted, or out and out not true to make sure that they keep viewers coming in and they keep making this set amount of money that they work their channel into earning for them? Do they want to lose that amount or are they hooked into keeping that green stuff called money rolling in I'm going to put in one more person's name as he seems to be very popular also. And this would be Dabu77. As you can see, his monthly earnings are almost 3000 to 22000 Anywhere in between there is a projection. Projected yearly earnings, he could earn anywhere from 34000 to 271000 So you can see he is making a little more income than BP Earthwatch. As you can see, per each video, per each day, we have a couple of these big ones here from the 4th, the 3rd, and the 2nd. Anywhere from 100 to 800. 100 and a quarter or so to 1,000 almost. This one here goes up 136 to over 1,000. You get the drift. Now, I want to remind you Oh, I forgot to mention, um, 
as we were looking at BP Earth Watch, aka Mr. Comet Watch, any Mr. Comet Watch videos that he's made, they're gone. He took them all down. Okay, so back to Dabu. There was a time whenever he was on uh, Google Earth or something. I think I remember, and he told everyone that we had just witnessed a murder. He believed that we had witnessed a murder because he was looking somewhere in Europe with that. And he had found a small, um, kind of a little pier in a lake or something. And there was supposedly a blood trail that led from this pier off into the, the bushes and stuff. And there was quite a few people that watched that, which means he made money off of it. And then there was a few days later, there was a corrective video that was made in which he stated, at least he stated it, but it was too late by then because he'd already cashed in off of it. Perhaps someone had corrected him and he did not want that to be brought out, I don't know. But he did correct it and say it was a dead dog that had, for whatever reason, it was losing blood, and whenever they dragged it off, it left the trail of blood. So that was, um, point being made, what was said was untrue. Not a shred of truth to it, not a anything to it but it still resulted in a payday. If several thousand people watch it, you got paid. You made money. Therein, we run into the question again. When you're making this kind of money, and you have this kind of potential to make in between this amount here, 34,000 to 271,000 split it in the middle let's say a hundred grand what are you going to say to make sure you get that hundred grand when you get used to having that hundred grand you going to let it slip away or are you going to do something to make sure you keep getting it going to keep spinning things the way that it seems that the people want to hear it? Are you going to tell the truth? Are you going to spin the truth? Are you going to stretch the truth? Are you going to tell something that's not the truth? Because it's making the cash for you. And like I said, money can corrupt. Money can take a good thing with good intentions in the beginning and cause that person to be corrupted by it. So that is what I'm saying. That is why I do not do it. Because I don't ever want my credibility questioned. No one can ever say that Mr. Raj 48 does it for the money because you're not getting a commercial on my videos, which means I'm not monetized. You can verify and search my name on here. You'll find out that I'm not monetized. No, oh, it'll show the same thing. Of what, If it comes up, it'll show the same thing of what I could be doing. And you'll see that it's a little different than these gentlemen I've showed you. I seek to bring truth, understanding, and help. So give it some thought. Are you being used like a tool, do you think? Are you hooked on it? Are they really giving you the truth? These are all questions you need to ask yourself when you view whoever it is that you view.